There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. So which of these two sons do you think did the will of the father? The first son said he will not go, but later he went. The second son said, I will go, but later on he did not go. Now, the second son is Abraham. Abraham was the second son. Because he said, I will go. And this period of Abraham saying, yes, I will go, took about 400 years. When the time is okay, when the time is ripe, God made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But during the time of Moses, they did not go. And this period of them saying, I will not go, is from the time when they took possession of the promised land till they returned from the exile. So who are we? Are we the first son or the second son? So we are the first son because we are the ones who say that we will not go. But afterwards, we went. And who is the second son? It is the Israelites who said that they will go, but later on, they do not go. So why the healing of miracles? We have to ask ourselves this question. Yes, why is it that the miracles of today that Jesus performed is healing? We have to ask this question. Throughout the Old Testament, it is about destroying, casting down fire from heaven to destroy. But suddenly, it is shift towards the miracles of healing. So God made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And God said, let us conquer the world together. Let us fill the whole earth together. But they refused. And God said, I still love the world, but I want to display my presence upon the earth. God said, I still love the earth, even though my second son has refused to go with me to conquer the world together. Even though they refused, God still loved the world and he still wanted to display his presence upon the earth. But now the question is, the first covenant with his son has been broken. Now what should God do? With the first covenant being broken, God said that I will no longer do casting down fire from heaven and destroying places in order to display his power and presence. So therefore, in this second covenant with my first son, who now is willing to go, for the second son, the Israelites have refused to go with me. This second covenant, I will use healing to display my power. Because the first covenant did not work and the Israelites broke faith with God. So now, the covenant is broken. Now God still wants to show his presence upon the earth. He said, I will no longer use fire from heaven to display my power, to destroy the cities, but rather I will use healing. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, you want us to call on fire from heaven to destroy them? But Jesus turned and rebuked them. You do not know what manner of spirit you are. Therefore, it is essential to know what manner of spirit we are. We are now in the second covenant. We need to understand the timeline of God. When something bad happened to you and you pray for fire to come down from heaven to destroy them, you are telling to God, I do not believe what happened in the Old Testament. Because what happened in the Old Testament, the Israelites still broke faith. And now you want to cast down fire from heaven still to destroy your enemies. You are telling to God, I don't believe what is written in the Old Testament. The difference between the Old Testament prophets and Jesus is that prophets 
wait for an angel to direct them, to give them guidance. But Jesus is there to guide where the angels to go. We say that we are Christians, okay? Christians rebuke the Pharisees. Christians reach where the level Jesus is at in anointing. Jesus wait for God's answer, then he pray. And angels move in accordance with his words to make his prayer happen. How can angels move in accordance to your word? Is when you wait for God's answer first, then you pray. Therefore, do not pray to get God's answer. Rather, get God's answer first, then pray. Someone asked me, which should I ask God first? Is it the fruits of the Holy Spirit or the gifts of the Holy Spirit? The answer is, both are needed and both go together. One of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is patience and one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is prophecy. This is what I mean by fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit go together because patience is needed for prophesying and prophesying is needed for you to be patient. So patience helps you to prophesy and prophesying helps you to be patient.